All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me yet, hi, I'm Elizabeth. Uh, please click subscribe below. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a unboxing and testing out some of the products from Hourglass Cosmetics. They sent me a whole PR box, uh, so this video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to share with you guys some of their items and my honest opinion of all their products. So let's get started. The first product I have is the Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation stick. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, this is cool. It's in like a triangle spear. Here it is. Ooh, it looks creamy. All right, let's see if this shade, this is in shade light beige. So I'm thinking it will match. I'm just going to touch up acne that I have right now and then blend it in with a brush. Also, my makeup is already done, but I'm just trying to test out the products, not do a full face right now. So I'm just gonna be checking the products out here. The next product that I'm gonna use is the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. This is what it looks like. Ooh, there's like two ends to it. Oh, whoa. Okay, I've never used a pencil like this. It's really, you can see. You're supposed to like draw the strokes and then the brush to brush them out. Oh, I like this. This shade is like the perfect shade on my eyebrows too. So my eyebrows are actually microbladed, but this does a really nice job of filling in the gaps. And I actually have been needing an eyebrow pencil to fill in the gaps like this. I'm just gonna comb my eyebrows up just to brush it through. Ooh, that actually made a difference. Wow, I like that. All right, I would definitely buy this product. Next thing I'm trying is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Nice packaging, it's so pretty. Just their products are like done so nicely. And I like the chrome color, it all comes in. This is in shade Pearl. And I would say my skin tone is a lot closer to the, to the pearl shade than it is to the light beige shade. All right, blending it out smoothly. There's a brush they sent that I didn't use yet. I should open this first. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, these are the best kind of brushes to have, the dual ones where there's both sides. So this is kind of like the bigger end is for all over foundation and then you're gonna want the smaller end for more of just spot treatment and like touch-ups towards the end of your makeup routine. This product that I'm trying is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer in this little gold packaging and this is in shade Sepia. And okay, this is looking a lot lighter than the other ones. So this looks like it might be a really good under eye why am I so bad at doing the hand thing? There we go. It looks like it's gonna be an under eye uh, concealer. Oh yeah, this one is really nice. This one smells good too. It's very creamy and very lightweight. I'm gonna use the small end of the brush to, to blend this out. It's a really nice finish to it. I feel like that really just made a difference in like my almost all day makeup. I would recommend that product as well. Oh, here's another brush. I should have opened all the brushes at the beginning of this video. Ooh, this has an interesting shape package. All right, so this brush is angled, which I like. It'll probably reach better under the eyes. I wish I just used this brush under my eyes because it probably could fit in the tiny spaces a little better. Same with like if you're touching up stuff around your nose or up in your eyebrows and smaller areas, this is gonna be able to get in a lot easier. All right, the next product I'm gonna be trying is the bronzer they sent me and this is the Ambient Lightning Bronzer in this package. I'm gonna open it right now. It's a luminous bronze light. I love that the bronzers and the blushes have this like mirror type case. I think it looks super pretty in a makeup bag. What's different about this bronzer compared to some other brands is the shimmer that is added into it. It's not matte. It's like really shimmery. It gives you more of a glow. And for now, I'm just going to use the all over foundation end to just test this out and blend some of this into 
my bronzer that I already have on. Wow, you can already see it's making a really nice difference. It's very subtle. It's definitely a good shade for me. I also learned this trick with bronzer where if you put it instead of just here in your cheekbone, but up on top a little bit, it will give you a little bit more of a contour. The hard to get, or the hard spaces to get brush to add a little bit underneath my nose which gives more of the button nose effect. Next thing I'm trying is the Ambient Lightning Blush in the same kind of packaging. It's just a little bit smaller, and then it will probably have the same mirrored casing, which it does, which looks so cute in a makeup bag when you start adding all the pieces together. It just looks so classy and refined. So it says a little hourglass on it. And this is in shade Dim Infusion. So this blush, I've actually tried it before, it's a little bit more of a highlighter than it is a blush, but that being said, I still love it, and I think it gives a really pretty natural look. I'm just going to add a little bit of it on top of where the bronzer is, just slightly above. And just kind of all over my face. I always blend a little bit of blush in everywhere, that way I'd never look too orange. What I'm going to be trying is the Caution Mascara. It comes in this shiny little box. I like how all their packaging matches so nicely. Like it's not crazy colors and like all over the place to keep it pretty consistent. It has the same little triangle sphere bottle. I'm excited to see what the brush looks like. I'm curious. Oh, okay, this is cool. So the brush is shaped like this. And I'm going to just apply it on top of the mascara I already have, but just kind of see how it coats on one that I already have. It coats pretty nicely. I'm definitely excited to try out this mascara when I am not wearing mascara. So this is in the shade Ultra Black, but I'm always a fan of trying out new mascaras, no matter what brand they are. I feel like everyone always is trying new mascaras. So if you're looking or in the market for a new mascara, this would be a fun one to try along with me. All right, the next product I'm going to be doing is the Ambient Lightning Palette from Hourglass in the shade Ambient Lightning. Again, a shiny box and a mirror thing. Oh, this is cool. It's a big product. So you have this. And then it opens and you have three different shades of Illuminator, which is really pretty. I'm gonna try the like pink mixed with the pearl. And then just blend that in on top of where I put the blush. I kind of layer the three, like I go bronzer, then I go blush, and then I go highlighter. Now I'm gonna put it on this side. And then I always add a little bit of highlighter up on my brow bone up here, which really gives the look a nice arch. And then obviously you can't forget highlighting the tip of your nose. I really like this highlighter. This is a great highlighter to have. Oh, okay, I'm just realizing that the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick, they sent me another shade because they probably weren't sure what shade I was. Not gonna lie, the first shade, light beige, was a little orange on my skin. So hopefully this shade will be a little different. This is shade Ivory. I'm gonna see, oh yeah, this is for sure my shade. Yeah, you can see that this just, oops, I got my lip, blends a lot nicer. And matches my overall skin tone, like to a T. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, uh, ivory is definitely your shade. I'm just gonna blend it in really quickly. Now I'm gonna be trying some of the lipsticks. So they previously sent me for like uh, Valentine's Day all of the shades and I tried a few of them and then they just sent me another two. So I'm not sure if I've already tried these shades or not but I'm gonna open them and let you know what I think of the colors. So this one is called At Night. I have to try this one last if it's a really dark shade. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a deep plum or like red. Ooh, it's like a deep red. Oh, it comes up kind of bright red on here. Yeah. So I'm gonna try that on just a little section of my lips. That is very red, as you can see. All right, I'm not gonna put that all over, but if you're looking for a good red lip for an event or something or a holiday, 
this is really nice. I also like that it feels moisturizing. It's not gonna dry out my lips. It blended pretty nicely. I'm impressed. All right, and now I'm gonna try the shade I'm looking. I'm looking. If I can open it. Oh yeah, okay, I've tried this shade in the PR box. It's like a nude pinky color. This is like very close to like what I would wear like every day. I'm gonna put apply this all over so you can see. I feel like I get a lot of questions on my Instagram what color lip I'm wearing and sometimes this is the color or a color really similar to this shade. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just tested out right out of the package all of these Hourglass products. So overall, I really like the way that my makeup turned out. I think it added a nice refreshed look to the makeup I already had on. I think it did, all these products did a really great job. I'm super happy with Hourglass. I'm really impressed by a lot of these products. I would say my top three favorite products if I had to pick them would be this brush is a must have if you don't already have it, but that's a brush. So product wise, I would go with the Vanish Airbrush Concealer for under eyes. I thought this one made a huge difference. The lip in I'm Looking that I usually wear on my Instagram a lot. And then also the mascara, just so you guys can try it out with me and see what you think. Cause I feel like everyone always needs to be trying new mascaras. So let me know how you think it turned out. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Again, I'm really new into doing makeup and beauty hauls and unboxing stuff. So let me know your thoughts and I can't wait to hear back from you guys. If you liked this, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching.